stethoscopes on the market. So it can be a little bit confusing to know what's what, what's better, what's most suited to the area that you're working in. So some are categorised by the technology in them. So you can get acoustic, which is what most of the stethoscopes are, or electric, which do amplify the sound a bit, but they are definitely um, pricey. Uh, others are categorised by the age of the patient, paediatric, neonatal, adult and so on. And then the most common classification is cardiology, which is like this one, or regular, which is just like your normal dual head. Now, as the name suggests with the cardiology, it's designed for use by specialists in the field of cardiovascular medicine to listen to sounds produced by the heart and the cardiovascular system. These are things like valve activity, um, heartbeat, clicks, murmurs, flow. And the design of the stethoscope um, also makes them better suited to distinguish sounds for diagnosis of heart and vascular defects. Ultimately, the cardiology stethoscope is built to provide a superior sound quality over standard stethoscopes. However, cardiology stethoscopes can also be used for all other purposes, just like a regular stethoscope. The regular stethoscope is used for auscultation um, and blood pressure, um, auscultation of the respiratory system and the gastrointestinal system. So the main distinguishing features in cardiology stethoscope versus regular is the chest piece. So to show you, so this is the cardiology and this is the regular or dual head. As you can see, there's no diaphragm on this side. It purely has the diaphragm on one side. So another term for it is single head. The tube tends to be a little bit thicker in a cardiology as opposed to your standard regular. You do get some uh, regulars, uh, for want of a better word, that are th have a thick tubing like this. And the reason the tubing is thicker is there's a dual lumen inside. So while we can only see the single lumen, there's actually two lumens that run all the way from the diaphragm. They bifurcate here and go up to each of the ear pieces. So the thickness of the tube helps to keep the sound condensed within the tube, but having two tubes makes the hearing or the acoustics just that better quality. The tubing is made thicker uh, to minimise interference as the sound waves are transmitted between the chest piece and the ear pieces. The thickness is also meant to promote amplification of the sound as it travels. Most cardiology stethoscopes also feature a pressure tunable diaphragm. That simply means that as you apply more pressure, you can hear a different frequency of sound. Um, there are uh, regular or tunable stethoscopes and all of our stethoscopes uh, here at eNurse are tunable, so they all have that feature as well. If a stethoscope wasn't tunable, then you would rely on the large diaphragm and the small bell to be able to hear low frequency and high frequency sounds respectively. If you have a tunable one, there's actually no need to flip over and use the bell. All you do is have light pressure to hear low frequency sounds. When you need to hear high frequency sounds like murmurs and those smaller sounds, apply a little bit more pressure and that will bring in the high frequency sounds. It's also important to note that while studies conducted by Lippmann have shown decreased pressure in longer tubes, However, the effect on the sound quality is too small to be noticed by the human ear. In fact, the study pointed out that as tubing length increases, the resonant frequency decreases. This means the added length actually provided better response to lower frequency sounds, which is better for auscultation. Heart sounds can fall below 150 hertz, which are considered to be low frequency. Little fun tip.